what's up everybody i'm back out here today with my dad at the tiny house homestead trying to get it ready completely off grid i'm taking you guys along with throughout the journey uh this is the site roughly somewhere over here we're going to be building a 12 by 24 raised platform that with the idea of collecting rainwater for everyday use for showers uh everything washing clothes all that stuff so uh i'm gonna take you guys along with and uh let's see how it turns out a couple years ago we had a really bad freeze here in eastern north carolina which is very rare and it was so heavy on a lot of the trees that we had a lot of the trees out here are like bent over as you can see like this one is uh and they're really ugly plus this one's in the way so this one needs to go with the chainsaws in the shop so we got to make do with what we got So the whole structure is going to rest on these little concrete piers, which 4x4s will go into. And uh, the whole thing is going to be extremely lightweight, very um, easy to put together, very minimal. Uh, because because we, for the most part, to be honest, we're just trying to keep the cost down. So far we got two of the posts up. You can see how we have to brace each one because it's real flimsy right now. And then we ran a string all the way down to determine a straight line. So we got those two up. Now we're cutting the next ones. Quick update, we got um, everything kind of set up. We have all the posts in the ground. We've actually started putting up a few of the, uh, whatever those things are called. <laughs> Sorry for the mess. We got a lot of stuff going on. Sorry for the noise, we got the generator going. Um, so we have all, everything set up like the whole outside and the post and everything and now we're just going to go through and put rafters up every two feet one two all the way down so when this is all said and done i will do some quick calculation to figure out how many gallons of rain you can get and also down in the description i'll leave you a link to a rainwater collector calculator so you can kind of determine like whatever size building you decide to build or your tiny house if you decide to do that and get an idea of like how many gallons per day you'd be afforded based on your setup. All the rafters on and now we are putting on the roofing. As you can see, see if you can get right there, a better angle. And uh, this stuff is called Tough Tex. Uh, we got it because mostly because it's a little bit cheaper than the metal roofing and for what we're trying to do this is perfect. So. Back out here the next morning and uh, I'm working on finishing up the roof so we can move on to actually get about the business of collecting water. I mentioned before the entire surface area of this setup is 26 by 12. And so if you use a simple rainwater collector like calculator, which I'll link down in the description below, uh, given this area gets approximately 50 inches of rain per year, uh, this system will capture about 9,750 gallons per year, which equates to about 26 gallons of water per day. Uh, and given that this house does not have a flush toilet, it's a um, composting toilet, and that we've installed a low flow um, water faucet, I mean a low flow um, nozzle on the faucet and on the shower, uh, 26 gallons per day should be relatively easy. Okay, we got the water tanks in place. These are three 275 gallon uh, IBC totes. And I got each one of them on Craigslist that were brand new for like 75 bucks. So it's a really good deal. So the total um, gallons is like, I think it's like 825 gallons. All right, I'm back out here the next morning and I've done a lot of work since I last updated you guys. Sorry again for the generator noise in the background. It's kind of annoying, but it's a necessary evil. But uh, so I installed a gutter off the back right here, which comes down into a flush out tank. And once that fills up, so that's just to kind of capture all the nasty debris off the roof. Once that fills up, refocus here, it will uh, come back up, 
through this pipe and down here and fill up all three of the tanks. And I'll show you how it's uh, set up at the bottom here in a second. So all three of these are connected together. And uh, so as this tank fills up, the pressure, it'll go through here and come back in through here. And the pressure from all the weight will fill all three of these up as well. All right, so that is the 12 by 26 shelter with all the PVC totes in place, a uh, 825 gallon system. Uh, I'm going to make this a two-part series. In the next video, I'll show you literally everything, and hopefully by then we'll have some water in this hang so I can show everything works. And I'll take you all the way through to the house where the pump is installed, show you how that works, and how what we do with the gray water. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video.